Today, we're gonna talk about your 14th week of being pregnant with twins. I'm Natalie Diaz, founder of Twiniversity and author of the best-selling book, What to Do When You're Having To. Um, oh yeah, and I'm a, a mom of twins too. I forgot about that. Today we're going to dive in and talk about all the things that you may be feeling during your 14th week of your twin pregnancy. We're also going to chat about some things that you might want to do this week and finally give you some tips on ways to make your week easier for you and your 20s. So congrats, you're 14 weeks pregnant and now you may be experiencing some new symptoms. First of all, if you've noticed that your breasts are starting to grow and they're a little bit more tender, don't get nervous. This is totally on par for being 14 weeks pregnant with twins. As your body is kind of adjusting to being pregnant, you're going through this this like really crazy hormonal roller coaster. And one of the things that happens is everything gets a little bit bigger. So enjoy the little more, uh, it's not really junk in your trunk. Is it padding in your bra? I don't know, that's kind of weird. <laughs> but if you notice that your breasts are starting to grow a lot more, a little bit more, or you've got some tenderness, don't get stressed out. Good news, you may have noticed that this week ended your term of nausea. So yeah, your body is kind of adjusting back to being, you know, you again, and that nausea has subsided, that HCG isn't screwing with you as much anymore. So yeah, if you've noticed that the end of your nausea is, is occurring, well, congratulations and enjoy it. If it hasn't, ignore everything I just said, that's also kind of normal, but usually around your 14 week, or let's say during this week, you might see a little bit more relief than usual. Now you can actually find more twin pregnancy tips, especially Especially for your 14th week over at twiniversity.com slash pregnancy timeline. So we have just a bunch of stuff there. So make sure that you go on and check that out. Now, another thing that you'll find on our website too, is we give you lots of tips of things that you should be doing this week. So some of the things that I think are kind of important to do this week is number one, take off your wedding rings. As your body is adjusting to your pregnancy, you kind of might get a little bit puffy, but also your joints are gonna swell. So if you're wearing a wedding ring and it's already a little bit tight, take it off, tell somebody where you're putting it, because the funniest part is, is that although you took off your wedding rings, you may not remember at all where the heck that you put them. So either tell somebody or email yourself with the title of wedding rings and to remind yourself where you put them when it's time to put them back on. Another thing you may wanna start doing this week, which is really fun, is think about starting to plan your twins nursery. So go on to Pinterest. I mean, we have tons of information over on our Pinterest page, and I know that you have already probably been bookmarking things, but start thinking about your nursery design, colors, layouts. You might also wanna start painting soon. As your pregnancy progresses, you're not gonna be as comfortable as you are now. And if you're not comfortable now, I'm sorry, but as your belly grows and grows and grows with your 20s, inside you're going to be a lot more uncomfortable so start thinking about painting now think about you know the, the layout really is probably the most important so this is a good time to measure each wall and see how two cribs are going to fit in this room are they going to be kind of next to each other are they going to be head to head are they going to be in an l shape so try to figure that out but that's something that you really should start thinking about now so that you could buy cribs accordingly Next thing, it's also a really good time to sign up for a Twiniversity class. We talk a lot about nursery design and gear and mattresses and cribs and all that good stuff in class, but you really do wanna make sure that you sign up sooner than later because it really does kind of fill up a little bit more than people kind of expect and they always get mad at me when I have no more room. Now, if you don't want to join me personally, you could always take our online class. It's just twiniversity.com slash classes or twiniversity.com slash breastfeeding because we have a breastfeeding class exclusively for parents of twins. Now, tips for your 14th week. If you've noticed that you're getting a lot of heartburn, that is kind of typical. That's just the way that it goes with your pregnancy. Remember, if you look back at some of the other videos I was talking about your progesterone levels, this has to do with that. So if you notice that you're getting a lot more heartburn, a lot more indigestion, you may wanna consider having a teaspoon, one teaspoon of apple cider vinegar. Check with your doctor first, but it's kind of like, it's not an old wives tale, cause it works. It works for me, it's worked for my twins and it's worth for a million generations previous to me, but apple cider vinegar 
and the acid kind of that comes up really like you know balance each other out and it kind of puts the kibosh on that burn that's happening there but you do you might want to speak to your doctor if it's something you're worried about also this week if i were you i would also up your protein intake protein is the building block of life right so like we need proteins so start thinking about having an egg every morning instead of having an oatmeal or have an oatmeal and egg like go for it also really try like when you're looking at your dish try to have the protein first and the fiber second and then the fluffy stuff after but i want to make sure that you're getting the good nutrients so that your babies could grow and that you will not feel any pain now Next thing is start getting things ready for the babies while you feel good. So I talked about kind of creating that nursery and doing your nursery design. This is your honeymoon period. You feel kind of as good as you're gonna feel for a while. So if you need to run to the store or if you wanna see things in person, this is a good time to get that done. If you wanna visit friends and family, depending on what our situation is like with the universe, you may wanna make those trips now, especially if it's a longer car ride than usual, but this is the time that you feel good. So try to kind of pack it in and don't neglect that exercise. I know we spoke about this in an earlier week, but if you haven't started some kind of prenatal routine, it is not the worst idea to start now. So in a nutshell, that is your 14th week of your pregnancy with twins, and there is so much more down the road. Now we will cover every single week for you and take you by the hand along the journey, so don't worry about that. We're here, that's kind of what Twiniversity does, and don't forget to go check out our twin pregnancy timeline at twiniversity.com slash twin pregnancy. And if you are a reading kind of person, you're gonna be over there for a while, so get ready for that, because in that, in your 14th week of your twin pregnancy, we also give you recommended articles. When you're there too, go subscribe to our newsletter because we have something that you put in the week that you're expecting and then every single week we'll send you an email with specific information for that week of your pregnancy just in case you forget to come on over here and check me out. So we got a lot of stuff. We got podcasts if you like that. We got a membership where we meet up monthly if you like that. But whatever you want, Twiniversity is that. We created Twiniversity for you. I actually created it for myself because it didn't exist for me, to be very honest with you, but it's really because I didn't want you having the pregnancy that I had with a lack of resources and information. So once again, guys, that's me. I'm Natalie Diaz, and thank you so much for joining us today. Congratulations on your 14th week. I cannot wait to see you for your 15th week. And if you like this video, please make sure that you like and subscribe. See you later, alligators.